This is Illness and Gaming. I'm going to talk roughly about how the state of your body can affect your gaming. So I have been ill for the past three days. Nothing serious, just a donkey punch of flu. I've had videos lined up, shadow play recordings ready, scripts done, but I feel in my current state I really wouldn't do them justice. So I brainstormed, what can I do whilst ill? And hey ho, here we are. Anyway, it probably goes without saying that humans aren't some binary interface to a video game. We aren't quite fleshy chess machines. We aren't always going to make the most logical or efficient action. Everyone is a product of their surroundings, from a mother walking in embarrassing a pro gamer on stream to an itchy bottom. They are going to change the input into a game. They might be the difference between a 15 minute killstreak on an FPS or an untimely death. On this premise, how does illness affect how people play games? Well, from the very scientific and well-documented case of Ildrashino, I can give some hard data regarding this phenomenon. Let me just put on my lab coat, guys. Okay, just kidding. But for an example, in Planetside 2, the gameplay is very complex. There is a reason why there are so many guides about every little thing. Because there may be 200 plus players at a base, there are so many variables that come into play. From peeking a corner correctly, rezzing at the right time, controlling recoil, and making sure you don't ever expose and get smushed by a friendly tank. I'm looking at UNC. I mean, I can keep going on. And whilst I do say this about Planetside 2, it does very much affect other games. But with all these variables in PS2, if you're not in a good mental state or there are external distractions like illness, it is easy to loosen up your logic gates in your brain and make a mistake. And when any one of these variables can be the difference between promotion to MLG Master Race and spaghetti meatballs on a wall, it can be extremely frustrating. So, going on from this, frustration and anger is fairly unmoderated in games. It is almost like people spew their thoughts into cyberspace without Mr. Consciousness coming into play. It's basically a black market for opinions. In my case, frustration doesn't come from losing, but from losing when I feel it wasn't completely my fault. True or not, and I would think this is the same for other people. The perception of what isn't your fault is very wide though. The worst is when people blame other people directly, and that's how we get rage tells and accusations. So, add in the element of man flu, and you have a scapegoat for the badness. This external illness is now the catalyst for frustration, an ignition key to go from human to hulk. In my case, I blame the illness rather than other people, but my frustration levels have been off the charts the past few days, and my frustration caused me to rage quit but I feel that everyone would react differently. Some people may let it build up and lash out at others like an insecure meathead in a nightclub. So in any case, this catalyst element I talk about is an expansion of normal frustration thresholds. Like for example, blaming your aim on your mouse not being sensitive enough, your computer not being powerful enough, or accidentally hitting the D key and strafing a little too far. And on the other hand, it's another excuse to use for your quality of play, and more wood on the fire of frustration if you will. It is added to the server lag, and other players being lucky etc. This whole premise is worth considering when you are on the other end, and whilst in no way does everyone deserve forgiveness for acting like a human bagpipe, it is worth considering the external factors that may have led them to the moment of irrational barking. Really, what you are seeing is probably what normal people would filter out in a face-to-face -face interaction, where Mr. Consciousness presides and judges what can and cannot be said. In some ways, at least you know what partly is going through their minds. What can be taken away from this video? Well, that the external factors on your gaming may have more of an effect than you may think, and it can very directly affect how you play. However, everyone has to put up with these external distractions, because we aren't computers, and it may very well serve as a scapegoat for the gameplay when there was never a level playing field to begin with. No player exists in a vacuum. In that end, it might be worth considering some humility whilst ill, that other players are not just kills to be farmed, but fully functioning humans in varying environments. But on the other hand, understanding that a lot of external influences can and do end up as verbal diarrhea, it could be worth either giving a little thought to forgiveness or just completely ignoring tells that you may get. So, in conclusion, it 100% isn't my fault that I've been playing relatively badly these past three days. It is all the fault of the person or persons who carried this virus and passed it on to me. 
So in that I clean my hands of any claims that I'm a noob or am bad. And no, I am not a shitter. That is all. Anyway, thanks for watching all. If you could put up with Wynino in this video, I think you all know how you can show your gratitude. And if anyone has any opinions about being ill and gaming, then go ahead and pop them in. Until next time everybody, Joshino.